Hey, how's it going? And today I was going to show you how to use the IK retargeter, but I'm going to be doing this as a series of tutorials, more step by step. And so to start with this, we need to download characters from Mixamo. You need to go create a Mixamo account. And then what we're going to do is we're going to search for something called the T pose. And it's this one right here. So you just double click it and then whatever character you select, just get the T pose character of them and then just simply download that. So I've already done that. And then go pick an animation that you want. How about this chicken dance? Why not? Okay, that, <laughs> okay, let's do that. So on the settings, we're gonna go download here and we don't need the skin. So go without skin and you might as well go for 60 frames per second. And we don't need to do anything else. The only thing is, let me cancel that. Make sure when you're watching the animation that there's no overlapping. You don't see any clipping where the, the body parts are going into each other. And if you do, you can adjust the character arm space for that. And other than that, you shouldn't need to make any adjustments. And so once you're satisfied with this animation here and everything looks okay, then just go ahead and download it. So these are the two animations that I'm gonna download. So I'm going to download this one myself. So now we're in Unreal Editor for Fortnite and I'm just going to delete one of these spawns here. And the ultimate goal of this is that we're going to transfer this Mixamo animation to one of our Fortnite characters. So that's the ultimate goal of this. So, but the first step is getting an animation in that we can use. So anyway, now we're going to go to add and we're going to go to import and we're going to search for that one that we just downloaded. This is my character actually already in T-Pose. When the character comes in for the very first time, there won't be a skeleton. And we're bringing in the mesh and everything else. So we do want this use TO as reference pose. And then let's see what else. We do want snap to closest frame. And we do want use default sample rate. And I think that's the only ones we need. And then we just go import all. And make sure you're on the content level folder. And it's gonna give us some messages that it did have to adjust some things. It always says there's no smoothing group, so we're gonna just not worry about that. But then you'll see all of our assets came in. And if I were to drag this character into the scene, he would be in perfect condition. So which one would that be? It would be... Not my skeleton, not the animation sequence. It would be this one, the pink one. So you see now we have this character in there. I'm not sure, 100% sure that, that Unreal Editor likes these assets in the game. So what we're primarily interested in is not so much the assets, even though they're cool, is what we're interested in is the animations. So we it may be if it becomes an issue that we have to delete these assets but at least we'll get the animation out of it okay so now that we've downloaded this in t-pose all we have to do is go add come back and now we're going to bring in that chicken dance and go open and now you'll see it's already bound to the skeletal rig so we don't need to worry about any of that and I don't think there's any other settings on here we need to worry about. I think we can just go with the, the default settings and go ahead and import all. And we'll find out soon enough if there's a problem. So everything looks okay. Okay, now that we have brought in our T-Pose character and our animated character, if we just drag this onto the scene, when we go to play the game, this character will start animating right away. But if we want control over the character, what we can do is come into devices here and search for what's called an animated mesh and drag that onto the scene. And then we can go and select that character's skeletal mesh, which is here, and then select the animation here, which is chicken dance. So now with the animated mesh selected, we would have control over being able to pause or play this particular character. 
Now I have had issues in the past when I brought in Mixamo characters and sometimes it says it doesn't recognize it, but you, I guess you just have to handle those on it as you get warnings because there's certain times it doesn't seem like it converts it to a U asset and it might there might be an issue with that. But I'm just going to go ahead and push these changes and then we'll go ahead and see it work. So what I can do here is just set this to play on the on player spawn so that both of them should be running. So I'll be back just as soon as this is done. Okay, I'm back and let's see what this looks like. I'm almost afraid to see. <laughs> I duplicated some of them. It's pretty trippy, huh? <laughs> So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.